Hi, I'm Mark Pillsbury, Senior Editor of Cruising World Magazine. We're down here today in Newport, Rhode Island on my Sabre 34, and we're getting ready to install a new Lumar windlass on the boat. Uh, Lumar came to us and suggested it might be a fun project to do a do-it-yourself installation of one of their new windlasses. Uh, it's designed in part for the do-it-yourself audience out there. And uh, so we're going to walk through the steps involved and uh, take a look at how the, the whole job turns out. Helping me on this job is Bill Jennings of New England Bow Thruster. He's a local Lumar uh, installation representative and he's here to answer any questions and to make sure we do the job right so that uh, any information we pass along will be of use. Uh, so we'll turn things over to Bill here in a couple minutes and he'll talk a little bit more specifically about one of the, some of the things that we're going to be doing. One of the big considerations I had was to keep the bow looking the same as it does, did before I started. So to do it, that meant we had to uh, mount the windlass down inside the anchor locker itself. First thing we need to do is clean out the locker, get all the glass crown down, and we're going to make a good mounting surface for this thing to fit on. We'll get the holes drilled, we'll get all the dirty work done first, and then we're ready to do uh, into assembly. As you can see, the first and messiest part of this job is roughing up the paint and removing the old fiberglass patch in the anchor locker. Next, we're going to use a two-part epoxy to glue in a wood strip to act as a filler. So when we install a bracket, it's going to fit in snugly against the hull and the bulkhead. Once it's in, we'll cover the uh, area with new fiberglass, which will give a real good surface for the bracket to bond to. So I went in with some cardboard and some duct tape and put together what the, the bracket would look like, mark where all the holes would need to be, and then took it up to J&J &J Marine, a full service boatyard up in Somerset, Massachusetts. They uh, used some aluminum stock, welded up the bracket for me, sent it out, had it powder coated. Uh, we did that so we wouldn't have to worry about corrosion down the line. And uh, as you can see, the two look just about similar, although I think you'd have to say that the the gray one on the left looks a heck of a lot better. I want to mask it off so that when we're done with the final fit and we're going to be doing some backfilling with some putty to take up all the gaps, uh, because it's not a perfect fit with the way the anchor locker has been constructed, uh, we're trying to fit very flat pieces and uh, not so flat pieces. So we're going to backfill the mounting surfaces, which we're, we've sanded up here a little bit. We'll do a little more on it. This will get backfilled with a high strength final luster putty and that will fill all the rest of the gaps. It'll be very strong and it'll give us a really good solid surface to mount this, this uh, platform onto. Okay, well now we're ready to put the bracket into place and we've uh, covered the backside good with adhesive uh, two-part epoxy. Uh, so the next step is to put it into place and uh, as the adhesive starts to set up, I'll go down below and push through some bolts so that we bond it to mechanically as well as uh, adhesively to the bulkhead and as I hold the bolts in place, Bill will tighten down the nuts. We're gonna 
we've gone to this extent to make everything look this nice. Uh, it's kind of a shame to leave the anchor locker in its old condition. Might as well prep it up and uh, make it match everything new.